There's a lot of things that you could say about the Baltimore Ravens as a team, as a franchise, as an organization. You could talk about the way that they run things. You could talk about the way that they operate. You could have whatever different opinions you may want to have on them. But one thing, no matter what your opinion is on the Baltimore Ravens, the one thing that you absolutely cannot deny, no matter what, is that they take care of their people and they always put their people on. The Ravens are a franchise that they always, if you're willing and if there's something that you're trying to do, they are always willing to set you up for success and try to get you started when it comes to life after football. Some of the guys that I can think of off the, t- off the top of my head, I know there's going to be more too, a lot of people that I forget. Jamil McClain, um, Zachary Orr. Uh, recently, uh, Anthony Levine, Anthony Weaver, and I know there, there's plenty more people too, but the Ravens have been an organization that, especially if you play for them and, and you want to sort of make the transition to life after football, but stay within the team, within the organization, but on a different side of it, they seem to be willing to work with people to do that. So today, it's funny because I was driving. I was driving, got a notification on my phone. Um, And when I was stopped, I looked down. And you know when you get a notification, sometimes you can only see part of it, especially if it's a divided up message. So the the part of it that I saw, it said, after nine seasons, veteran safety Tony Jefferson is announcing his retirement from football, which that part I was shocked about because I'm like, man, he's still young. He can still play. I figured that he was still on somebody's team. I didn't know that he was a free agent. But I'm like, oh, well, Tony Jefferson really retiring? But I get it because it's like, all right, you want to go out on your own terms. It's like when you had a job. If you had a job, you would much rather resign or quit rather than get fired because that's you going out on your own terms, not them deciding when it's time for you to leave. But anyway, uh, the part of the notification that I saw, it said, after nine seasons, veteran safety Tony Jefferson is announcing his retirement from football. However, Jefferson isn't stepping too far away, and that's where the notification got cut off. And it's funny because I was thinking, I was like, man, he's with the Giants. No, he spent time with the Cardinals. Well, that's where he got started. And, of course, he was with the Ravens. But I, I was like, I, it just sit. Watch he going to be in the front office for the Ravens, doing something for the Ravens. Because it just, like, that's just the way that I felt, man, because we, we see so many players. Like, Tony Jefferson is another one. A lot of people will forget that Tony Jefferson used to play for the Cardinals. They'll forget that. The Ravens, it's not, it don't happen with everybody. <laughs> it don't happen with everybody. Everybody don't leave on good terms from the Ravens. But there can be some players to where they may spent, have spent time with other teams. But once they become a Raven, it's like, man, it feels like it for us as fans. Like, man, you've always been a Raven. But they really hadn't been. Guys like Tony Jefferson. Guys like Eric Weddle. Guys like Calais Campbell. <laughs> guys like Steve Smith Sr. Guys like Anquan Bolden. So there, there are a lot of guys that once they become, come to the Ravens, they just, they fit in. They fit in and they get it and, and they make so much sense for being the Baltimore Raven. And then a lot of these guys, they end up wanting to retire Ravens. They end up building such great relationships with the organization that they love it. They love it, and, and a lot of times you end up thinking, oh, you played the Ravens your whole career. Meanwhile, they played for a whole other team for years before they played for the Ravens. And enough times, too, they even played for some of these other teams longer than they played for the Ravens. But usually, again, nine times out of ten, <laughs> there are some people, it don't happen this way, but these guys, they end up creating these bonds, and they just they love it. And that's a great thing to say. So obviously, Tony Jefferson was somebody that created those bonds because he's somebody. Man, you talk about like love for the rape. Like I remember that this dude, this dude had got cut from the Ravens. He got cut, wave, release, whatever you want to call it, after his injury and stuff. And this dude was still telling people to go to the Ravens. Still, he got cut due to his injury, and this dude was still to hey, no, you need to go sign with Baltimore. It's, what? Think about that. Like, think if you get fired from a job. Fired from a job because you got hurt on the job. Are you still going to tell, oh, hey, no, you should, you should still go to that company. Most people would not. Most people wouldn't be like, oh, no, you should go still work for them. 
Not Tony Jefferson, no. Not him. But anyway, um, that, that was the part of the notification that I saw. And I, and I just figured that, oh, yeah, it's, it's probably going to be for the Ravens. So when I opened it and saw the whole notification, I was like, oh, boy, that's... I was still a little bit shocked, but I was shocked that my, my feeling was right. But at the same time, I was like, ah, that's, that's just so Raven-like. Because that's what they do. But anyway... It says, uh, Tony Jefferson isn't stepping too far away from the game as he plans to begin his scouting career this summer with the Baltimore Ravens, something he's always desired once done playing. So look at that, man. Right away. That's love, man. That's love. Like, and, and, and it's a beautiful thing, too, because after he got cut, he could have bad-mouthed him. He could have been like, oh, that's a dirty team. That's a dirty organization. That's they this, they that. They cut me, da, da, da. And, and even if he wasn't hurt, even if he didn't get cut because he was hurt, if he got cut regardless, got released regardless, he could have felt some type of way. And couldn't even be mad at him feeling for some type of way if the team let you go. Because, again, people don't want to get let go from their jobs. They don't want to get fired from their jobs. That hurts. That's painful. Well, especially if you like the job. If you don't like the job, then sometimes you can be like, all right, bye. But in his case, he seemed to have loved it with the Ravens. So he would have been really upset for getting fired. But no bad blood. No bridges burned. And look what happened. He didn't burn the bridge, and he ended up crossing it again for the second time. Because remember, the Ravens had brought him back for a little bit before. They had brought him back for just a little bit. It was, um, was it 2021? The end of 2021 where they brought him back? I think it was. I don't even remember. But they brought him back, and then they had brought him back again in the offseason. But then I think they cut him. Then, he, then I think that's when he went to the Giants, I think. I don't even remember. But anyway, um, that's cool that this is what's happening uh, with uh, Tony Jefferson. So um, they, the Baltimore Ravens made an official announcement, too. They said, congrats on a great playing career, Tony. Uh, we're very excited to welcome him back, this time as a part of the Nun Wooten Scouting Fellowship. So yeah, that boy done already got he already got his position. He already got his job. He he's already set, man. Like this dude is already set. Ravens done hired him already. So this dude done went through the whole interview process and they figured out, determined what's the best place for him to be. And he's good. And again, the best part about it, he went out on his own terms. He ain't had to leave the game. And it sucks for people that, that have to leave the game like that, but he ain't had to leave the game on a stretcher. He ain't had to leave the game on crutches, anything like that. He got to leave on his own terms, call his own shot, and now he's working with the Ravens again. So, like, man. Oh, that, that's a sweet deal right there. I give it to Tony Jefferson, and, and I give it to the Ravens for, uh, for making that happen. That, that's cool how that worked out. So, like Tony Jefferson is when it comes to playing football, but not when it comes to being with the Baltimore Ravens. I'm out.